So in this lecture we will learn about the importing features of Adobe After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. I have created this main animation comp as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, background is black and duration is 30 seconds and I think frame rate is also 30 seconds. So whenever you want to import anything, there are two ways. Either you can hit simply Ctrl I and choose your file from wherever you want. And you can simply double click on this blank space of this project window. By chance, if you are on some other panels like effect control, simply hit control zero to project window and simply double click over here and choose whatever files you want to import. Like right now, I want to choose this comp one, which is a video file. You can choose whether it's a PNG file or anything. You can simply select this file and simply hit import. And then you can drag and drop in your main animation comp. I'll delete this file over here. And now, this is the very basic importing settings but at certain points you have to import illustrator files and photoshop files etc etc so let's see what how we can do that now over here i have this illustrator file which is a very basic file like one rectangle is on one layer and one circle is on the another layer then i'll save this file and then i'll go to the after effects i'll simply double click or simply hit ctrl i on my keyboard and then i'll select this untitled one which is same file the height width of this file is 1920 by 180 you can choose whatever size you want right now for just for the sake of explanation i have created this normal file you can simply this select this file over here and over here you can see this import as and footage in footage you have to choose this composition retain layers and sizes and simply hit import now because of that what will happen if i double click on it as you can see we have these two things on separate layers then you can simply import not import but drag and drop this file in your main comp animation comp and if i double click on it then you will get these files on separate layers they can you can simply animate this file like position, uh, rotation, etc. etc. So, this is how you should be import our Illustrator file. Then, this is just a normal file. You can import any complex files like I have this files over here, and over here, as you can see, each and every subject is on the separate layer. If I hit Ctrl I on my keyboard and if I select this file, import i'll choose composition written layers and sizes and i'll simply hit import and i if i drag and drop over here and if i double click on it as you can see each and everything is on the separate layer and then you can easily animate this if you want to see the tutorial of this illustration animation it's available on my hindi channel i'll provide you the link of that also in the description so this is the way you can import illustrator files in after effects now uh, it's not necessary that as always you will get the illustrator file to import sometimes you will find that you have to animate photoshop files also so the basic things is same like if i go to the photoshop i have this logo file which is behance logo file over here as you can see each and every alphabet is on the separate layers I'll hit Ctrl S to save this Photoshop file. If I go to the After Effects, I'll double click over here. Over here, I have this Behance PSD. Same procedure I will follow. Composition written layers and sizes and simply hit Import. Over here, I'm gonna not going to change anything over here and I'll simply hit OK. And I'll drag and drop over here. I'll hit double click on it. And if I hit Ctrl K, as you can see, the width and height is different because in photoshop i have created if i hit ctrl alt i to open the project settings as you can see it's in centimeters if i go to the pixels as you can see the height width is same and in after effect also if i hit ctrl k as you can see the height width is same so whatever height width is gonna be here the same height width is gonna be in the after effect 
and over here as you can see each and every file is on the separate layer and you can easily manipulate them so this is the one way to animate those things so with the help of that you can animate anything you want if you want to know how i have created this behance logo animation this tutorial is available on this channel only i'll provide you the link of that also in the description if you want to check it out you can so that's it for the today's video this is the way to import anything you want in my further videos we will learn uh, how we can import anything and how we can animate that so that's it for the today's video. We will see you in the next video.